Robert Collins, David Moores. Take a look at Wixbury's newest police officers. These 11 men were sworn in at a colorful ceremony at City Hall. The police chief says soon they'll be on the streets working to get rid of one thing. The biggest crime issues in the city is the same as the biggest crime issues across the country and perhaps in the world, drugs. The police chief says he'd like to see more police officers patrol neighborhoods like this one. A crime's not being committed where the officer is, so it gives the people the confidence that, hey, I see a policeman, I know my neighborhood's safe. We spoke with some people who live in Wilkesbury. Most say they are hopeful more officers will mean a safer city. Well, I think so, because the crime rate is, like, getting higher, and uh, I think it's really necessary, and I think that's really nice that they have them on. It'll put it in the back of their heads, you know, that there's more cops. That but I think people are still going to do it. The chief says all the officers will be trained and ready to hit the streets within a month. Lois Kute, Newswatch 16, Wilkesbury. John Ratter is in Battonsville. He has been trying to get home to Buffalo, New York for the last two days. I've been stranded here for two days. Actually, my car broke down on Route 33 because of the snow. and. Uh, so I was lucky to get a towed and uh, get a ride here, but I've been stuck here for two days. There was a major backup on nearby roads following the closure of Interstate 80 West between Snydersville and the Interstate 8081 junction. The manager of this Howard Johnson told us that luckily he had a few rooms left to accommodate the travelers affected by the snowstorm. We've been getting a little bit of overflux of traffic and the travelers who want to stay overnight. They don't want to go and drive in the condition since Interstate 80 was closed last night. The travelers were also unclear on what alternate routes to use. PennDOT is not telling where the detours are at, and so the guests who are from, you know, from the tri-state area, they're a little confused. Truck stops were also congested with travelers who were forced off the interstate waiting for news when it will reopen. Lois Kute, Newswatch 16, Monroe County. Most cell phone owners have probably done this several times. I am guilty myself of being on the cell phone and sometimes I think it is a little bit dangerous and sometimes you aren't paying attention while driving. Drivers will not be allowed to use their cell phones behind the wheel without a hands-free device. An ordinance that was passed and goes into effect in the city of Carbondale in 30 days. This is a little city, you know, and they should be able to keep it enforced and hopefully it works. This ordinance was created in order to protect other drivers, passengers and pedestrians like Eugene Bledsoe, who says he has experienced the danger of people driving while talking on their cell phones. I was walking across the street, you know, I had to walk out in the street from the snow, and I seen a lady ride past, almost hit me by a car, being that she was on the phone. In the 20 minutes that we stood at this intersection, we saw dozens of drivers pass by on their cell phones, and that's why the city of Carbondale says it needs this law. There are exceptions, however, to this new law. The emergency response officials on duty, for the rest caught breaking this law, there will be a $75 fine. And I think, there'll, again, there'll be a period of, of probably warnings um, that'll, that'll go out uh, from the police department. But, you know, after that certain period is over, then obviously we'll, we'll move towards citations. Even though the mayor says there will be difficulty in enforcing this law, it still remains a primary offense and you can be pulled over for it. Lois Kute, Newswatch 16, Carbondale, Lackawanna County. This section of downtown Jim Thorpe was shut down while fire officials spent hours clearing the roof of this courthouse. A woman was sent to a nearby hospital after a large piece of ice fell from the roof of the building and crashed onto her truck. At the time and I heard the snow sliding, I heard the noise and I looked over just in time to see the uh, big chunks of ice coming off and hitting the vehicle. John Kane, a bartender in a nearby restaurant, said he heard a noise and rushed out to look at what was going on. The windshield on the driver's side was not totally smashed, but was shattered. And the back of the truck behind where the driver sat on the left-hand side, there were two pretty decent-sized dents in it. Emergency officials say that the situation would have been tragic if someone was walking on the sidewalk. 
Well, this is just an example of what can happen because of the effects of our ice storm the other day, ice and snowstorm the other day. Um, you need to be aware of your surroundings. A member of the ambulance crew reported the woman's head injury was not life threatening. Lois Kuten, Newswatch 16, Carbon County. A new Starbucks opens its doors in the Clark Summit area, adding to the list of places where residents can get their cup of coffee. I uh, like Starbucks. I like their coffee. I can always afford it. Um, it's a great atmosphere to hang out in, so I'm looking forward to being able to go to a place to relax and hang out with friends. Other competitors, all within a half a mile stretch in the area, include fast food chains like McDonald's and Burger King, Dunkin' Donuts, as well as some gas stations like Sheets. Yeah, I think that's good to have a lot of choices. It's convenient. We come here after the gym, some friends, and come here. But I'm willing to go to Starbucks now. That's nice and close. Residents of this area have a variety of places to get their coffee from. But are there too many? We spoke to Marcella Schroeder, who says she'll enjoy going to the popular chain, just like she has the other places. I won't necessarily stop coming here. I won't not go over there. I'll probably go to both places. Smaller pastry and coffee shops, like this Euro Cafe, did not seem to worry about Starbucks moving in. So we're excited. Competition's good. We have a great customer base. We have loyal customers who come here all the time. We know them by name. It's like cheers. Lois Kute, Newswatch 16, Lackawanna County. I don't think so. The one thing they'll change on Eshelman's track is this three. They'll make it into a four. Four million plus accident-free miles.